Babies, welcome back to Stop by Beaver One and welcome to 2016. Um, glad to see you guys are all still here and I hope you guys are all doing well. Today's look is going to be on this silver kind of smoky eye I have going on. I was just I wanted to do this for New Year's Eve, but I prefer to do the more glam um, glitter look. If you know what I'm talking about, I will link it in the eye cards in the video. But yeah, I just decided to do this look. I only do the eyes, the lips, and the highlighter in this look. If you're wondering what foundation I'm using, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible True No. L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in Soft Sable. Um, you guys know my highlight and my bronzing slash contour routine already. And for blush, I'm just using a blush from e.l.f. Um, it's in that, the blush palette. It's the orange shade. The blush palette in dark, and it's the orange shade that I use um, just along my contour if you're wondering what else I used. Um, I think that's all I have to say. I've got so much in store for 2016 i'm kind of iffy on what i want to do still because i kind of want to be a little bit more original but i do have some stuff planned for 2016 so do not worry um I've, i think i can i think i got this covered i think i got this covered um note i will be moving in about two three months time so my background is going to change so i'm still trying to figure out um like how to pre-record some videos while i'm like like in the process of moving so that I my channel's not I guess lacking I guess you would like to say because I don't really like when it lack so that's another goal for me in 2016 um so yeah if you have any video suggestions please leave them down below and I'll see you in my next one bye guys basically I'm priming my eyelids first and then I'm gonna go in with driftwood from Mary Kay um and I'm using this as a transitioning color for my crease area this is gonna help all my colors blend. I like the way she moves. Shiny, my baby, my everything. I see the truth. Next, I'm going in with stone, and it's like a nice gray color with a blue base, kind of. And I'm putting that in the crease as well because this is a nice smoky color that we're doing, or smoky eye we're doing, and silver. I figured the stone would go really well with the color silver. Now, I'm taking this concealer from e.l.f. All my, the products I use will be listed down below, but I'm using this as a base where my the bright shade is going to go so that it really pops and stands out against my eyelids. I will be that guy who was walking down the aisle. I'm just putting it on the lid area. Now I'm going into this Mary Kay Mineral Eye Quad. It's in the shade Chai Latte. I'm taking that dark brown, purpley shade, and I'm putting that on the outer V of my eye. And I'm bringing it in a little bit just to blend it out. This is a limited edition shade, you guys, or a limited edition quad, so if you're really interested in it, definitely go head over to my Mary website, and I'm just blending it out here. Next, I am going into my e.l.f. 144 Neutral Palette, and I'm taking this silver shade. It's like the third silver shade. Yeah, the third silver shade. It's Semi bright, semi dark. It goes waves on me, <laughs> and I'm just pressing that onto my eyelid. Um, I didn't wet my brush or anything. I just pressed it in, and I used it dry. If you use it wet, it'll be a lot more pigmented, not pigmented, like more bright and will pop a lot more. I just wanted it to be a nice subtle one that I could actually wear out today for like just normal everyday like, look. And I'm gonna go in and blend it out a little bit. Just to make sure that the crease is a bit more defined and it doesn't have silver all the way in the crease part. Next I'm taking this black from Colourpop, this shade Rolle. And I'm using this to line my eyes since I'm not using liner. So I'm just smudging it on my lash line and blending it out. And then I'm going to take some of the silver um, shadow that I used before and just to clean it up if I'm getting a little too much. I like how this came out. I still want to mascara off camera. And I'm going to take that same stone shade from Mary Kay, that grayish color. I'm going to use that to smoke out the lower lash line. Next, I'm taking my Mary Kay Ultimate Mascara and just going in to my bottom lashes here. Now we're going into the Cardi Bible Palette and I'm using the two first shades um, to do my highlight. The two first highlighters to do my highlight today. 
um, I wanted a nice icy white highlight, so that's why I use these two shades. I can't use the first one by itself, but I probably can, maybe, but it's a little too bright for me, so I like mixing it with the second one, because it makes it blend out a lot more, like a lot better, and it doesn't look too ashy on my face. So. And off camera, I took my powder brush and I blended it out to make sure it blended into my skin very well. Sorry. Now I'm setting my face with makeup setting spray. Hold on. Now I'm taking my face with a liner in the shade neutral and I'm lining my lips and filling them in. Not completely, like I'm leaving the center of my lip there for the most part. I have to put on my glasses because I could not see what I was doing. <laughs> I know it's crazy. I never thought I, I would be that guy who was walking down the aisle with a ring in a suit and tie. But it's you and not first the world, me and my girl. Now I'm taking Mary Kay's Mary Kay at Play Jelly Lip Gloss in the shade Glow with it, and I'm applying this all over my lips. And that's it for this look, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Shouting my baby, my everything, man, she the truth And together, man, we cool it We will never lose it We riding for each other Cause that's what riders do Say, shouting my fiance Shouting my, shouting my Shouting my fiance Shouting my